The zoom pan script applies the Ken Burns effect to an image. Run the zoom pan script with the dash I option and then the path to an image. The dash D option is used to specify the duration in seconds of the effect. The dash Z option is used to specify either zooming in or out of the image. And the dash P option is used to specify the position in the image to zoom in or out of. The positions are top left, center, top center, top right, bottom left and bottom right. And the dash O option is used to specify the out file name. You can batch process all the image files in the current directory with the zoom pan script to apply the Ken Burns effect to the image. In this example we'll find all the PNG files and then set a duration of 5 seconds and then zoom into the centre of the image. I'll run the zoom pan script with the dash H option to display the help. We can see we run the zoom pan script with the dash I option and the path to the image, dash D option and the duration, dash Z option for in or out and the dash P option to specify the position. I'll run the zoom pan script with the dash I option and the path to the image and then the dash D option and the duration of the clip, the dash Z option to specify zooming in or out and the dash P option to specify the position in the image to zoom in or out of. I'll run the zoom pan script with the dash I option, the path to the image, the dash D option, and the duration, the dash Z option to zoom out in this case, the dash P option to specify zooming into the center, and the dash O option to specify the out file name. I'll run the zoom pan script with the dash I option, the path to the image, the dash D option for the duration, the dash Z option to specify zooming out, and the dash P option to specify top right. I'll run the zoom pan script with the dash I option, the path to the image, the dash D option for the duration, the dash Z option to specify zooming out in this case, and the dash P option to specify the position, in this case bottom right. I'll run the zoom pan script with the dash I option and the path to the image, dash D option to specify the duration, the dash Z option to specify zooming in or out, and the dash P option to specify zooming in to the top left. I'll run the zoom pan script with the dash I option, the path to the image, the dash D option and the duration, the dash Z option to specify zooming in or out, in this case out, and the dash P option to specify the position, in this case bottom left.